The vessel sailed from its base in Singapore and docked in the waters of Dubai's harbour marina, where world leaders, including President Gengob, are renewing calls for increased investments into renewable energy sources and projects. The Fortescue Green Pioneers docking at COP28 was described as a symbol to the world of the technology solutions and regulatory changes needed to decarbonize shipping and the logistics industries. Previously, the ship was diesel powered, but has since been converted to run in dual fuel mode as it moves away from fossil fuels with green ammonia considered a game changer in an industry that, were it a country, would be considered the sixth largest polluter in the world. I think I was just using ammonia and so on, but I was very strong in talking about them. But I didn't believe that one day I will be standing on a ship so soon, where he's telling me he's using this hydrogen queen, and ammonia is that thing there. These were all dreams to me. Now to really be invited by my good friend, that he just doesn't just talk. He is friendly, he talks, laughs, but he doesn't just talk. Come and see, they said. <laughs> so when I was coming here, I thought, what kind of a ship it is going to be? Is it going to be an ugly thing, small thing? But look at this. So with that, I would like to congratulate you. So far, only Singapore has the appropriate regulations in place to handle an ammonia-powered ship following the adoption of new ammonia-specific safety and fuel handling courses in conjunction with accredited learning institutions in that country. Fortescue thus appeals to ports worldwide to license ammonia loading and to ensure that all seafarers can be inducted and are able to operate in a safe and controlled manner with ammonia fuel on board. And that is why we believe we can end global warming, because when industry knows it can do it, that the technology is here, that the capital is here, what is perhaps missing is the character of leaders. And I say to every chief executive and every leader, you absolutely know your companies and your industries and your economy can do it. You absolutely know that your country can do it. So if you say you can't, then I think the right term is I agree. You can't. What about you exit stage left and let someone who can? Okay, the time for excuses are gone. We're not short of capital, we're not short of technology. What we're short of is character and leadership. And this is why I firmly believe that this COP needs to plan a future where we phase out fossil fuels, we replace it with a democratic and peaceful energy which can spread all over the world. Fortescue Future Industries was among the international companies that submitted bids to develop Namibia's first green hydrogen and ammonia plant, but lost out to hyphen hydrogen energy in 2021. Blanche Corre says NBC News, Dubai, United Arab Emirates.